So we all have royal icing in front of us, and those are these little bags here. Um, take just a minute and massage them so they've been sitting for a couple hours. We want to make sure we don't have any like dry spots and wet spots inside. Yeah, we're massaging all three. Feels a little odd, doesn't it? <laughs> today is a day of firsts. So we have three beautiful colors that we're working with today. All in beautiful blush tones and rose gold. Of the three colors, the first one we're going to work with is the darkest tone. This is our rose gold and we're going to accent it with really pretty glitter. Um, so anytime I do something where I cover that cookie in glitter, I start with a base color that's almost the same color as the edible glitter. It is edible glitter. We sell every color of the rainbow. And I actually mixed a couple of colors so I could get this matching tone. It's our strawberry and our copper, new copper colors. So we've got them in spray pumps, which makes this next step super easy. But we're gonna start with our lipstick. So your metrics are gonna be the millimeter and centimeters here. One, two, three, four. So that first line, you see that very first line? All right, so that first one is zero. And then we've got one, two, three. So it's actually four total dashes, but number three is three millimeters. That's what we're gonna cut out of the tip of this bag is a tiny three millimeters. So we're gonna cut a very tiny hole out. If your icing isn't down to the tip where you can see it, do this. And it'll go all the way down for you. So now we're going to cut three millimeter hole out of there. So three millimeters wide. So the first thing I do is I make a border and I'm going to border the shape of the lipstick. Second thing is filling it up with icing. And that's usually the first mistake people make is they put too thin icing in there, but you need enough icing that it naturally fills in the gaps. And then everybody has a toothpick. And that toothpick goes completely perpendicular. You all know what perpendicular means, right? Perpendicular is straight up. Yeah, straight up. And we use the tip of that toothpick perpendicular and swirl it. And you see how it filled in all of those, all of those gaps? And then if you have any air bubbles, you go tap, 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 tap. Now, you want to do this on a flat surface. If you're holding your cookie, that royal icing is going to run down. Next. Once you get that in place, we're going to use the glitter pump. And we're going to pump glitter right over the top of that lipstick. So we're going to next do the middle section of our butterfly. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to just pipe a line right down the body of the butterfly. No toothpick, no tapping needed. Just pipe a little body right down the butterfly. So we've got the body piped. We need to put the long dragé. Say that with me, dragé. Yeah. But if you're from UK or Great Britain, you call it draggy. Draggy. Yep. So we're gonna put our that guy in the middle. And then we're gonna bling it up just a little bit more. So I put one on each side for eyes. Are we supposed to like press it in? Yeah, you're gonna press it in just a little bit. All right, our next step is to finish details on our lipstick. So we are going to use our medium tone. So we have our three colors. We're gonna use the medium one that's the pinkish color. Nice, pretty blush. We're gonna cut the same size hole. So a very tiny three millimeter hole, little bitty. So we're gonna do this middle section and I created a border first, filled it in with icing. Then I used my toothpick, perpendicular, swirled it to make it mesh together, and then tap, tap, tap. So we're going to start with an outline border. Does it need to connect to the other one? Yes. Good question. 
and then fill it in. <laughs> Once you have it filled in, oh, no. use that toothpick and a little tap, tap, tap. Our next color is our light pink. All right, same size, three millimeter hole. This is a special technique where we drag one color into the other. So we're gonna use two colors at the same time. We are going to use the light pink and the darker, darker rose gold color. We're gonna go really fast. We have to first start with the upper half of our border. So we do that first. We don't have to come all the way down because we're adding a different color on the bottom. But we're going to squeeze enough icing in there that we don't have to mess with it much with the toothpick but we are gonna come through the toothpick very quickly in just a quick swirl. Then we're gonna switch immediately to the other color. If we wait, it starts drying and it starts crusting and this won't work. So I'm going to come in with this color right underneath and create a little section of it. A quick swirl of that toothpick again. And now the fun part. Starting down here at the bottom, we pull that color up into you're not gonna fail. <laughs> You've got this. All right, once I've got that in place, tap, tap, tap to finish smoothing it out. All right, your turn. Once you have that done, we have to add our sprinkles before it starts hardening. You can use either the sanding sugar or you can use the tiny little caviar beads that we call them non-pareils. To get the beads to attach to your cookie, you are going to turn that little cup and just sprinkle literally gently, gently on the bottom. Uh -oh. How about the butterfly? You guys ready to work on the butterfly? Yes. Yeah. All right, so we're going to start with that medium tone again. And this one, we're gonna do some fun techniques. We're going to fill most of it with this color, but you know how we added the bottom? and then pulled that icing color up to it. We're gonna do the same thing here. So we're gonna start by filling in our butterfly wings. You can do one side or both sides. Right, let's do one side at a time. So we're gonna do that first, swirl it with our toothpick, and then you can do some cool things with hearts and pretty designs. If you put a dot in the middle and take your toothpick, start up high and drag down that toothpick, you create a heart. Oh All right, I'll do it again. I'll do it at the top. So I've got the first color in place, right? I can put a dot here, take my toothpick and start up above it, go right through that dot and it splits it down the middle and turns it into a heart. You can also add your light color. So we start with a dot and then we put our toothpick in front, drag through that heart. As soon as you're ready, move on to the other wing. And for those of you guys who are finished with the little hearts and embellishments, you've got additional pearls. You remember what we called these? Nope. Drage. Drage. Oh, yeah. yeah, great job. And if you're from Great Britain or UK? Drag. Draggy, that's right. All right, diamonds. So I started right here and I created a border first. And then I filled in icing. And then I added my second color to help finish filling in the rest. I used a medium color. 
So I used the medium. So I did light on top and then the medium down below. And then I took my toothpick and swirled in those colors. Yep, I just dragged it up. And then once I have the colors dragged out, I can tap, tap, tap. Took the glitter and just sprayed it right at the very bottom. So it kind of looks like a shadow. My gosh, here it is. We're going to use the two darker colors, so the medium and the dark, and I'm going to finish the bottom section of this by doing... So you can change the dark. I'm going to put the darkest rose gold color right through here. The yep, so I'm using the darkest and the medium tone. So I use the darkest actually up kind of high, but it doesn't really matter. Switching back to the lightest color. You guys that are finished with the swirling, we're going to put the diamond facet lines in place. So we're going to do one right down the middle. So we're going to begin by going from here all the way to this corner. Start from the bottom, go up the side, and then back toward the top. So it has that little angle right there. And then we're going to do one on the opposite side, same way. <laughs> 